I'm praying for those of you who got a broken marriage. Me and my wife is praying for you. We only been married for two years and we already have a prayer list. A marriage who prays together will stay together. A marriage who fasts together will last together. Now certain marriage, some, some, some of your marriages are matches that been made in hell and not a match made in heaven. If you married to a wolf, get away from the wolf. If you a sheep who is married to a wolf, then you're not going to get along because darkness and light has no fellowship. You love Jesus and he don't. She loved Jesus and, and he don't. She loved Jesus and he don't. And you love Jesus and she don't. That's where the clash is at. The Bible declares in Amos 3, 3, can two walk together except to be agreed? It's a question. No, that's the answer. Darkness and light has no fellowship. Now, I'm not saying they can't get saved through your life, but if they don't want to get saved and they're still drinking, smoking, cussing, and God is trying to give them a chance to repent, but they don't want to repent. God doesn't force the Bible on nobody. Then may, maybe it's time to separate and say, as for me in my house, we shall serve the Lord. Me, myself, and I wants to be revived. I must serve the Lord no matter what. Don't let your family ha, stop you from serving Jesus because we all going to stand before God, stand before God individually for ourselves. We're not going to stand before God as a family. We're not going to stand before God in judgment day as a married couple, but we're going to stand before God individually. And the Bible said, whoever name is not found or written and the land's book of life shall be cast in the lake of fire. Ooh, but if your name is in the book of life, you shall have eternal life to be with Jesus Christ.